Okay, what I'm going to do today is um, show you how um, in your Facebook fan page um, you can pull in your tweets from Twitter. Um, if you're using Facebook with students, I would recommend setting up this fan page rather than using um, you know, a user account. Um, it means they can like the page using the button up here and then anything that you put on the wall will appear into their profile. Okay, so I've got my Facebook uh, fan page open here, just cost technology. Um, this is the wall section, so I want my tweets to be coming into here without me having to write it on the Facebook and also write them in Twitter. And here's my Twitter page with my different tweets in here. Okay, now the way to do this is to go in your Facebook page and up the top left corner here, click Edit Page. And what we need to do is we add an RSS feed application. And then down the left hand side here, if we click into applications, and then if we scroll down to the bottom where it says browse more applications and click on there, we should now in the top left corner get a bit that says search apps. So if we do a search here for RSS, the second one down in the page there is social RSS. We want to select that one. So if you just click on the bit that says social RSS, it'll take you through to their page. And then on their page, just in the left hand side here, you can see an option that says add to my page. So we want to click onto that one. And we want to add it to this COSC technology page that I've set up here. So we can click here and say add to page. <coughs> and I'll close that box down now. So if we now go back to our page that we had, you've got an extra box along the top here that says RSS slash blog. But what we want to do is set it up so that our tweets appear on here um, into the wall. So what I do now is I go and edit that application. So I go to add, edit page on here. And if we now go into applications, we see social RSS is one of the applications we've got installed. What we need to do is click on here where it says go to application. Okay, so we've got the application up here. Now what we've got here is our feed settings. Now. RSS is, is something that we can take off Twitter here. If you look on my profile, this is the RSS feed of Graham Boxwell's tweets. Um, what we need to do there is right click over that link and do copy shortcut. And then if you go into Facebook now, and where it says URL feed address into feed one, if we just paste that address that we've copied into there, Okay, and we can just scroll down and then down on here where it says send to your wall, feed one, we want to change that to yes. And then if we click update. So social RSS is requesting permission to do settings for cost technology to post to the wall. So we want to allow it to do that. Okay, so saying the feeds have been updated successfully. So if we now go back to our page, into our wall, we can see our tweets here. So there's the last tweet that we did there. In the application, we can ch we can change the amount of tweets that are shown on the wall if we want to. Um, but they were just got one. So we can click on that and that'll take us through to the Twitter page. So here we go. So that's a retweet of the XLearn one that I'd done there. We can test this. We'll do a test and we'll send a tweet from my page. Okay, so a tweet's just going to be testing. Pulling RSS feed into your Facebook fan page from Twitter and we'll tweet that. It might take a wee bit of time to come through, but we'll just refresh this until it does. 
Okay, so if I had to give that just a little bit of time there, and what we can see there is the Twitter post that we did testing pulling RSS feed into a Facebook page from Twitter has appeared onto our wall. And what we can do, we can click on that and it'll take us through to the Twitter site and the Twitter post that I've done. So that's how to get a Twitter page, uh, a Twitter feed coming into your Facebook page.